welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is Friday, December 3rd, and I have been really excited that it's December, that it's the holiday season, and all, all this morning I've been listening to Christmas music, a lot of Mariah Carey and Ariana Grande, and then also all of like the classics and stuff too. Um, and I was also like kind of in the mood, so um, I put on this shiny headband and a little festive holiday red lip. This isn't like a red red, like a like a Christmas red, but it's like a good red. And actually, I wanted to tell you about this. So this color, this is Clinique Black Honey. This is a legendary color. I actually, I, I found out about it fairly recently, I would say in the last couple months, and once I found out about it, I realized how big of a cult following this lipstick actually has, and I like completely had no idea, but it's been like the answer to my prayers because as soon as I saw it, I was like, hmm, okay, Clinique Black Honey. Apparently it like works for everyone, like across a lot of different skin tones. When I show you this, this is the color. So it practically looks, it's like actually a really, really deep purple, like a really, really deep purple. But as you can see on my lips, that's not the color that it actually comes out as. You can build it up and do more layers and it will get darker. But yeah, it's so crazy. It almost looks black, <laughs> but it doesn't come off like, you know, that dark on your lips. And the reason why I felt like this was like a perfect color was because this, I've been holding on to this. They don't make this anymore. This is from CoverGirl. <laughs> like before, like this is a lipstick that I wore back in high school. Not this exact tube because I bought a bunch of tubes. But they discontinued this. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Lip Stain. Let me know in the comments if anybody remembers these. But it was a stain. And this exact color, I used to take into Sephora with me and say like, once they discontinued it, and I was like, can you help me find a lipstick match, like a lipstick shade that is as close as possible to this shade? And it's like a red-brown shade. Like it's, it's a red... It's not a red red, but it's not a berry, it's not a peach, it's not a rosy, like, it's just like a brown red is the only way I could describe it. And I felt like when I wore this, I felt it made me feel like, like it flattered my look. And then I found out that apparently there is a color that is almost the exact same shade when it's applied that has an extreme cold following. And I was like... Oh my gosh that must like and I really it's a complete dupe the color and I was like okay and I don't even it's like completely rubbed off here but there was a there's a specific shade number on the bottom and it's gone now but I've been holding on to it because that's how much I was like this was my perfect color but anyways this is constantly always sold out but on I think it was Black Friday or that Saturday or Sunday no it must have been that Sunday because I was here I just pulled up Ulta on my phone randomly to check if it was in stock and it was in stock and it was like there's a hundred people looking at this page right now like there's only a few left and so I just bought it like immediately on my phone just one purchase add to cart done so I don't know why I'm going on and on and on about this one lipstick but I guess my point is that I wanted to share this in case anyone else was also looking for this type of like perfect reddish brown color Clinique Black Honey. But anyways, okay, so Vlogmas. I really want to do Vlogmas. I am feeling guilty and because I think I was making excuses as to why I can't do Vlogmas. I was like, you know, I, I have a full-time job. YouTube is not my full-time job. I don't have time to do Vlogmas. I feel like there isn't going to be enough interesting things to show you um, because most of the days it's just me working at my desk. Um, but you guys like seeing the work week vlogs, so I feel like I'm just making excuses. Um, today's only December 3rd, so we've only missed like two days. Um, I think, I don't think I'm, 
like realistically I don't think I'm going to be able to vlog every single day but I definitely want to add in some extra vlogs throughout the month of December just because it's such a fun festive month so I'm going to try to do that but anyways okay so first thing I want to do is decorate my apartment for the holidays I have these decorations I got these last year actually but I brought them back for this year so these I got actually at TJ Maxx they were still at the tags <laughs> 12 13 dollars each and this is a pink ceramic Christmas tree and then I have the light pink tree just like that I have this little white one which last year I was so excited to find out I didn't realize until after I bought it then it lights up <laughs> so yay okay so I think I'm going to do like these three kind of, these three kind of like a little sorry display next to each other and then I also have this tree which is also really fun it's like a pink with a gold little flex on it and this is like a little wooden tree and then speaking of trees I actually did order a Christmas tree on Amazon obviously a fake one it's about three feet tall and it was flocked like it had the fake snow on it and when it came in the mail and I took it out of the box I was like this is not it wasn't as pictured so I'm going to be returning that and with that I also bought some little pink ornaments so I thought that was really cute so hopefully in one of these vlogmases I will be searching for a Christmas tree around New York City and I will decorate it with these once I find it I also have this little decoration I feel like this is really cute this is a little pink car with a Christmas tree on top and I got this from a blogger friend who invited me to a little event she was hosting and she gave everyone these little ornaments which I thought was really sweet so I'm definitely gonna put that on the tree and then I also have this <laughs> uh, this is an ornament that my mom actually put on my birthday cake and she was like oh yes it's actually an ornament so she's like you can hang it on your tree I'm like that's so cute that's like I am obsessed with squirrels so I absolutely love it and it, this squirrel okay we need to zoom in on this this squirrel has a bow in her hair this and she's got sparkles on her tail <laughs> cutest little squirrel um so my window's open because it's it's always hot in these New York City apartments. The heating system is like uh, this pole right here is extremely hot, and when it turns on, it makes a very loud noise. It sounds like someone is hitting a hammer on like a metal rod or something. It it. <laughs> It's it's crazy. Like the first time it happened, I was so scared. I was like, what's going on? But it's just the heater. And then there's another one in the bathroom too. And I can't control the heat in this apartment. It's like an older um, building. So it's just whenever the temperature drops below a certain degrees, it just kicks on and it is extremely hot. Like I was walking around in just my sports bra earlier because I was like, I can't even wear a regular shirt. It's so hot in here. So I opened my window. Anyways, all right, let's decorate. and then it has these pretty little pearls in it so I think I'm going to hang that on this little hook here I moved my apron off of it I'm not 100% sure about that spot because I feel like it gets lost it's just like the white on the white you can't really see it but put there for now also something I've been trying to get a little bit better at recently is eating fruits and vegetables that are actually in season I tend to all year round eat berries in my smoothie and then I'll eat like cucumbers and tomatoes in my salads but those actually aren't in season in the winter time and there's lots of other fruits and vegetables that are and are just as good for you 
So <laughs> I've been watching nutritionists videos and I just basically googled like what fruits and vegetables are in season in December and I found out that a lot of like winter citrus like mandarin oranges, clementines, things like that are in season as well as pears and pomegranates and then on the veggie side it's a lot of things like brussels sprouts, winter squash, cauliflower, broccoli, things like that. So I actually last night went grocery shopping. Last night I went to Whole Foods and I picked up an orange, a grapefruit. These are mandarin oranges. I actually feel like they're so festive and Christmassy with the leaves still on them. I thought that was kind of cool. And then these pears, which are not ripe yet, but I actually love pears. They are one of my favorite fruits. So I'm really excited for those to be ripe so that I can eat them. I love a good pear. And yeah, I just feel like it makes me feel healthier and it makes me feel better about myself eating fresh things like fruits and veggies, especially when there's so many around the holidays, Christmas cookies and lots of other like celebratory eating going around. I feel like I need to have those moments of also just trying to be healthy. Here's what I ended up doing on the right side. I put the three Christmas trees and my little squirrel. And then on the left side, I put the other tree and I moved my little flower over here. I'm still not 100% sure about this. I might move the flower. I think it looks a little out of place in front of the lamp. But yeah, I think overall, let me back up. It's a cute little thing. And then I want to put something up here, maybe some garland or something. I really want to get a garland to put over my headboard. I feel like that would be really cute. I need to head to UPS and I need to get a button sewn back onto a dress. So I'm going to head down there. It's probably one of the busiest <laughs> places right now, I could imagine. And maybe try to look around at some Christmas trees if I have time. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Naked angels in the sand you had me. Doesn't matter. which is one of the, I would say, a pretty cool restaurant here in New York, has this pretty garland up and some lights. So festive. Wanna hang out with my friends and family Naked angels in the sand you led me Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my heart All right, so the bodega that I go to sometimes their trees were good. They had some small trees for about $75. There's another place up here on Lafayette Street that also usually has trees up. So I'm gonna see if they're already up. And if they are, uh, I'm gonna check out how much their trees are and like what sizes they have. All right, so it's this one here. It's called nyctreelady.com, which I love. I guess they do Christmas tree delivery. So that's really cute. That's a fun idea. I love this little spot here because, I don't know, I just love like, I think it's kind of cool, like the trees next to all the buildings. And um, usually this one's trees are a little bit more expensive. Um, they are very nice trees though, so we'll see. tiny trees because they come in the with a little bucket already. Hi. Um how much are these tiny these smaller trees? The smaller well, the trees do you need a stand? Yeah. The stands are twenty and the trees range in price. This one would be uh, like uh, sixty that's the stand. Okay. Total for eighty. Total eighty, okay. 
Okay. Uh, and like this one would be like uh, 80 for the tree. Interesting. See, okay. it's higher, you know, they go by the height. dead leaves that's the main thing right it's a nice live tree here yep you guys i'm getting a christmas tree in a little stand i found this little tiny tree <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Thank you. What's really your name? appreciate it. It's Taylor. Taylor, nice yep. to meet you, Taylor. I'm Sean. Nice to meet you, Sean. Merry Thank Christmas. you so much. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas. You guys, I have my very first Christmas tree. This is my very first real Christmas tree of my own. I've always just, you know, gone to my parents and, you know, we've had a Christmas tree or I think one year I got like a, a fake, like, white Christmas tree, but this is my first, like, real Christmas tree. I'm so excited. It's so cute. It's like a little Charlie Brown tree because it's, you know, a little imperfect, but I like that about it. <laughs> so I can't wait to go home and decorate this and water it. It's like, it's my little tree now, so <laughs> um, I'm so happy. Oh, 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 da 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 da, oh, oh, da 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 da, oh, oh, da 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 da, making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately, I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people please But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is Just for the time being Move my two little coffee table books And my face and my candle over to my coffee table in my living room and put the tree here instead. I'm going to see how it looks. <laughs> Yay! I like it. I think it's big, but it's small. It's definitely a Charlie Brown tree. I think maybe I'll look for a cute little, like, mini tree skirt. Maybe I can find something cute, but... I think I'm going to decorate my tree. Cute. Yay, okay. So I'm going to water it and put some decoration on it. Waiting now for you to come. It's cold again, but I know we'll be warm. Sitting by the fire and dreaming. special to me are these stars, these little gold stars, and these are if you buy something at Dior on the little like bag that they give you on the 
on the bag they give you a little star and it says right on the end right there it says Dior and so I actually have three of them and I've heard that people will put them on their Christmas tree. I think one of the sales associates told me that, so I've been waiting to do this. So I'm also going to sprinkle some of these into the tree as well. In my family, when we decorate our Christmas tree, putting up the angel at the top of the tree at the very end is always like a special moment. And I don't have an angel or I do have stars, but I kind of sprinkle them throughout the tree. But I thought it would be cool if I used a little ribbon and I'm going to use a special ribbon. This is the ribbon that I got on the Chanel bag when I was in Paris. So it's definitely a special one to me because it was such a fond memory and something that I wanted to do for so long. I am going to... This is the girliest Christmas tree ever. <laughs> Also the fact that it's right next to my desk so when I'm doing work I can just look over and see my Christmas tree and remember that it's the Christmas season and be happy. Yay! So it's finally that time of the day where I can shut down my laptop. I am done with work so I just feel like it's the most satisfying thing like on a Friday when you know you've worked hard and the week is finally over and you have a full weekend ahead of you it's just the best feeling <laughs> turning off my mouse and done all right so i'm going to go head over to lyle's i kind of was like why don't we just like stay in tonight and cook dinner together and i found this recipe on the half-baked harvest it's like a almost like chicken, sesame, ginger, broccoli, rice type of a thing. It look, looks pretty good. And some of the ingredients are pomegranate juice, soy sauce, and rice wine vinegar. And so I've basically packed them up to go bring over to Lyle's. I think we're gonna go to Whole Foods to pick up a couple other things that we need for the recipe. But we're going to do the cooking at his apartment because his kitchen has a lot more space. So it's much easier to cook in his kitchen. But I'm just going to bring these things over and have a lovely little night cooking um, with Lyle. <laughs> Saturday morning now I was just texting Kendall and Mary because we're going to meet up for brunch today so last week of course was my birthday and I really just kind of since I turned 29 I was like it's not really a big birthday I feel like 30 is a bigger birthday and uh, when my, my friends Kendall and Mary asked me like what I wanted to do for my birthday, I was kind of just like, eh, you know, just kind of pretty much ignored the question. And then they kept insisting like, no, what are we doing for your birthday? And I just thought that it was so sweet. I'm really thankful that I have friends that um, like, you know, are, <laughs> are like that and are like, no, come on, let's, let's, let's do something for your birthday. So um, we are going to brunch at Lotteray, <laughs> which is, 
of course, um, a very cute little restaurant, and it's like a French thing, and um, yeah, I just really like it there, so yeah, we're going there. Right now, I'm just doing my skincare routine. I just put my vitamin C serum on by Glossier, and then for my moisturizer, I'm using this Boom Boom Milk from Violette FR. It's like such a good new product and then after that I think we might try to go ice skating um, which could be really nice so in New York City around the holidays is when the ice rinks start to pop up and there's three main ones in the city there is obviously the Rockefeller ice rink which is the one where they have the big Christmas tree it's right in you know the heart of Midtown where a lot of the Christmas shopping is going on so that's tends to be a very very popular one and then there's also an ice rink in Central Park which I really like because that one was featured on Gossip Girl a lot so when I'm there I just love like going into the park and going to that rink um, and it's also a lot less busy than the Rockefeller rink, so more likely that you're not going to run into lines and all of that. And then there is the Bryant Park ice skating rink, which is right in the middle of Bryant Park. And they also usually have a winter, like a holiday market there, which if you need to do any holiday Christmas shopping, like shopping for gifts, that is a great place to find them because you can find a lot of unique stuff that you wouldn't just find in regular like regular old stores it's like things that are handmade things that are made by small businesses i bought uh one year these beautiful like three little art pieces from this this girl who does these beautiful um like designs that she draws and like they have lots of ornaments there so maybe now that i have a tree maybe i'll try to look for an ornament um, i'm definitely going to in throughout this vlogmas try to take you guys to a, a lot of these as many as i can these like christmas new york activities so if we don't go specifically to the bryant park one today i'll try to do that in another video um, there's also a holiday market in Union Square. <laughs> there's so much. I love New York for the holidays. So I'm trying to make this vlogmas, you know, as much as I can. So right now I'm just getting ready, doing a little bit of makeup. And then, oh, and before this brunch situation, I booked myself in for a nail appointment. So there is this nail salon called Marie Nails. Um, M-A-R-I-E nails. It's in Soho, more West Soho. Need to, like, most, a lot of times you need to make an appointment like a month in advance, but they have a really small place and they do like designs on nails and they do a really good job at doing designs. So I was trying to look up some like cute, girly, like Christmas like nail designs and I found some cute ideas on Pinterest so I'm going to show them the pictures and ask like I have like my first choice and then my second choice and then my third choice as well so you just be because I feel like with designs sometimes you don't know like can they actually do this you know so my first choice I think I'll put a picture up on the screen it's like a gold fleck but I don't want to do the pointy nails because I don't I don't like myself usually do pointy nails um, I do more of like now I've been doing more of like a round like an oval kind of shape but I used to do square with round edges but now I do more of like an oval shape but I wouldn't do like this this picture is like super pointy <laughs> but I want to see if they could do the gold flakes and if not then I want to do something like sparkly like a pink sparkle just you know like a festive pink nail so we'll see um, but I'm really excited this place is super nice it's hard to get an appointment but I highly recommend them. I'm just gonna do my makeup and I'm really excited. I think today is gonna be a really nice day. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's all so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out for rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for Santa 
tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me with them I absolutely love them so the time that I had it was like an appointment so they're really popular it's hard to get an appointment there so the like time slot that I had they only had enough time to do like a French manicure and I showed them a picture of the gold flakes and they didn't like really have anything to be able to do that plus they're like it's designed so you know I couldn't really do that but I'll show you what I did get so it looks like this I went with like a really subtle color pink and then this like silver holographic at the end kind of like a French manicure but with sparkles so the thing that I really thought was cool about this color is that or the way that they do it is that they don't use actual like nail polish bottles to paint on your nails they use these really high quality polishes that come in like a little pot and they use an actual nail brush so that they can be more precise and they are so precise they do such a good job and the like pinkish color that i used was it almost looked clear like it was going to be clear and i feel like it was almost like a peachy pink color and i feel like that just came out a lot nicer than i'm gonna flip it around then say if i had used a pink with more of like a white undertone like basically almost like a red mixed with a white to make a pink. Instead, this is like a clearer pink, almost the color of the nails. So I just thought that overall it looked really kind of nice. This is the other hand. And perfect for the holidays. I wanted like a really sparkly holiday nail, but still girly and pink, <laughs> like my style. And I felt like this is so great, so I can't wait. Can't wait <laughs> to now just walk around and have the rest of the holidays and have my fun little nails. Also, the store here, David Yerman, has such a cute holiday decoration set up outside of the store. They have these, these pretty, like, but it's really pretty. Okay, and this is such a great busy little corner. There's this cute little <laughs> um, blue truck with some snowflakes on it over there. <laughs> um, I'm not so sure what it is, but let's go look. change before brunch it's a little colder outside than I thought so I came back just to throw on my little pink beret so that my head is warm I put on a scarf too this one is very very warm from in other stories and I grabbed my ice skates I just threw them in my bag here so that after brunch we won't have to come back in between and Oh, and I put on these boots. These are like a gray suede boot from Stuart Weitzman. I love them because if I'm wearing a skirt and it's, I have an over-the-knee boot, then I'm only really showing this much skin, so I'm super warm. And I love that these are flat, so they're super easy to walk in. And they're warm, and they look, an outfit look, cute and chic. Yay! <laughs> While Santa's busy saying ho, ho, ho Feeling jolly, eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up by the fireplace Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk
and <laughs> we just got here to Bryant Park. They have this holiday market. Last building. Winter Village. Winter Village, yeah, Winter Village. And they have all these little markets in these little green huts. So, like that, for example. And it's all like different little gifts and things that you can buy and then right down there is where they have the ice skating so that's the library and they have a whole ice rink in there i filmed the scene on sex and the city movie on that street oh yes yes that is where carrie bradshaw almost where she gets bounced exactly exactly <laughs> Rocking that pink <laughs> Paris inspired hat. You got the scarf, you got the polka dot skirt, you got those suede boots. And very pretty. Yesterday was really fun. It was just a nice day to like get my nails done and meet up with the girls and Lyle came too for brunch so it was really nice. We had just like the four of us, like a nice little small thing, a lot array. I got an eggs benedict and then we really wanted to go ice skating but 
everything was completely sold out. We looked at all of the different ranks around the city online for tickets and everything was sold out. So definitely something to plan in advance. But instead what we did was we went over to the holiday market in Bryant Park, which is nice. They do it every year. It's just this big market all throughout Bryant Park, which is in Midtown. All of these little shops, and so that was cute. Very, very crowded though, like very crowded. So we didn't stay for that long. We just kind of looked around at a couple shops, and then we were like, we need to get out of here. <laughs> so we left. So I guess my thing I would say there is if you're, you know, visiting the city for the holidays or anything, and or if you live here and if you haven't already been before, um, to try to go on an off day, like during the week, you can take a day off of work just to do all of the holiday things. It's a lot less crowded and it'll be a lot more enjoyable. I've done that in years past where I'll just take like a Friday in December off and go around and do all of the things that way. I actually planned to take off this Friday for work. I just requested it last Friday, so we'll see if it gets approved. I think, I think it will. I don't see why it wouldn't, but... Yeah, so I'm going to do that and hopefully I'll be able to go ice skating on a day off. So we shall see about that. And then the rest of the night last night was very boring. I took this big suitcase over to Wiles and I did my laundry. It's been about three weeks since I've done my laundry because I went home to New Hampshire for Thanksgiving and then prior to that I just like didn't do my laundry before I left but it's also like a big deal like plugging all of this over so now I'm just kind of sitting at home putting my laundry away I folded it all already so I'm just going to put it away make my bed with my clean sheets and I'm watching a YouTube video so yeah, I'm just gonna do that. And oop, <laughs> I have a little festive red lip on today. <laughs> this is from Rare Beauty, the Selena Gomez's brand. It's one of the lip, the lipsticks. I'll leave it linked down below. But I felt like it was a nice kind of red color, more of an orangey red, so more of like a festive, fun red. And my little fun sparkly snowflake star earrings. I got from Club Monaco and just gonna enjoy a little cozy sort through my <laughs> clean laundry. <laughs> to do as far as apartment Christmas home decor are these little tea towels. So my mom actually got these for me when I went home for Thanksgiving. <laughs> she had laid these on my bed. I thought it was so sweet. She found these at TJ Maxx. So they are from Cupcakes and Cashmere at Home, a set of two kitchen towels. So this is the tag. And I thought that was so sweet. So they're so fun and festive with the little Christmas trees and they're so me <laughs> with the white and the gold and just little neutral palette. So I'm going to put those on my oven. So just pulled out. I found that I have some candy canes. So I'm definitely gonna have to display those somewhere. And I have this little spatula from last year. It's got little 
Christmas trees on it. And then I'm definitely going to have to make Christmas cookies at some point <laughs> during Vlogmas. So I have this tree star and then this is a heart and a circle. So I'm going to see if I can find some more Christmassy shapes. And then, <laughs> I'm actually about to go outside right now. I put on my <laughs> bright, bright, bright pink jacket and my red lip, very, very, very festive. <laughs> but I need to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. I need to get, I have something specific in mind that I need to get for my dad, my mom, and then my grand grandma who is coming over for Christmas this year. So I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping for them. And then, I need to try on a pair of shoes because my mom wants to get me these uh, shoes from Lafleur Randall for Christmas and I need to make sure what size I am. I want to see them in person. Oh, I want to see if I can find an advent calendar. I'm basically just going to take you guys around Soho with me doing some Christmas shopping and just, I don't know, having a nice little walk in the neighborhood. <laughs> this place is new on Prince Street. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but Mizenser. <laughs> and it looks like it's perfume and candles and it has this pretty little garland outside. There's the shoes. I think these are the ones that I wanted to try on. They're so pretty. Oh, look at those little bags. Those are such cute little holiday bags. That gold one and the green. <gasps> so those are the Christmassy shoes I saw online. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Bodega, it's called Soho Garden. They have these cute tiny little mini Christmas trees. So if you have a small apartment, this is great Christmas decor. And they're selling them for about $40. And I think it comes with a little stand. So really cute. Perfect. something for my dad for Christmas. I didn't show that part because I know that they watch my videos. Um, and then I, when I was in Bloomingdale's, first of all, I love shopping in department stores around Christmas time. It's just like, something about them is just a little bit more like magical. Um, but, so I couldn't get a beauty advent calendar because all of them were sold out when I was in there. But, I did get the lottery advent calendar and that's what I'm outside of. So I know I was just here yesterday for brunch, but I had to come back. I saw that they had advent calendars and I thought that it would be really cute. So, I'm going to show you that when I get back to my apartment. But before that, since I'm kind of already in the vicinity, I'm going to head over to Trader Joe's and do my grocery shopping for the week. Okay, I am back from 
Trader Joe's now and I'm going to do a little grocery haul. So sadly I forgot to bring my reusable bag with me but look at how fun the Trader Joe's holiday bag is. It looks like a little elf elf feet um, and stockings so that's cute. Spent $62 on my groceries this week. What I got was some organic kale. I'm going to use this as my lunches for Monday through Friday. I'll just be eating a kale salad. I got some broccoli. Also going to chop that up and put it in my salad because I know that broccoli is in season this time of year. All right, definitely a very unhealthy. I got this sweet and salty snack mix. It is a fun mix of chocolate drizzled and salted snacks. And it looks very, very festive. <laughs> Just uh, super fun salt salty snacks. I also got these, these are mandarins. I was looking for clementines, but they only had these mandarin oranges. Might be the same thing, I'm not 100% sure. But I do know that these mandarin oranges are in season this time of year. I got a couple um, on Friday with from Whole Foods with the leaves still on them. But yeah, I just figured these are a good little snack, just like after lunch, you know, whatever. I got some chia seeds just because I'm out of chia seeds. It's the only reason. Oh, I got a shallot because I need it for the dinner I'm going to make tonight. And I got some kiwis because kiwis, kiwi fruit, are also in season this time of year. So they're really nice fruit. I'm trying to eat more in season. I got some carrots. These are just organic carrots of many colors. <laughs> so there's purple, orange, white carrots. So yeah, I think I'm going to have those in my salads as well. I got two avocados because I really like having avocado in my salad. Wild Argentinian red shrimp. Looks like this. I love these all the time. Um, I just like to keep them in my freezer and when I want to eat something like that I'll just cook them up. I got some pomegranate seeds because pomegranates are also in season this time of year and I figured for my breakfast throughout this week I would... Oh no, where'd it go? I'm gonna have to buy another one. <laughs> I thought that I would have some yogurt with this in it and some honey, some chia seeds, and yeah, because pomegranates are lovely and they are in season this time of year. And I like this little pack. I know it's extra plastic, but pomegranates are so hard to cut and like get the seeds out. So the fact that these are already de-seeded is very helpful. I got some butter because I'm out of butter. I got some heavy cream because I actually need it for my dinner tonight. It's going to be a very indulgent dinner. I got two sweet potatoes because I figured at some point for dinner this week I could just, you know, make a sweet potato real quick. And then I got some cauliflower because cauliflowers are also season in season at this time of year and I thought that would be good in my salads. <laughs> so yay, so that is everything. Oh, and then I don't know if I said this, I got some grated parmigiano, riagiano, because this is also for the dinner that I'm making tonight. Okay, and then also, I got this advent calendar. So I think I was saying that I ended up getting an advent calendar at Lotteray because I couldn't get any beauty ones, they're all sold out. But Lotteray had one and it was only 50 something dollars, which is pretty good for an advent calendar. Usually they're like, $300 for like all the you know the nice beauty ones or above which by the way the Chanel advent calendar I am so I feel like I really dodged a bullet with that one because immediately after I was like talking about how I was contemplating getting it I saw all of the news that came out about how bad it was this year so although I do love Chanel I'm really glad that I did not get that advent calendar thank you to you guys that alerted me about that I did see it also directly after that on like you know YouTube videos and everything. It was mostly stickers and stuff. So I'm really glad that I didn't get that. But hopefully the soft lottery one will be good. It'll be a nice little treat this holiday season. But let me see. Okay, okay, so the doors are in the front. Alright, let's see. Alright, we've moved over to my couch so we can properly open this together. Alright, so I think this is day one right here so I'm just going to put 
press that open. Oh, there's a little like door thing. Oh, so it is this little, looks like a chocolate tree. Yeah, little chocolate tree. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Mmm. It's like orangey on the inside. Okay, it's festive. <laughs> I like that. Today is 5th of December. So really, technically, we should be up to day five right now. But I almost want to wait and open them up. I might do that in my next vlog because I feel like this vlog had a lot of stuff in it. So I'll wait to open them with you guys in the next one. But for now, I think what I'm going to do is make some dinner. So I'll show you a little picture of what I'm going to make. All right, so I saw this picture on Pinterest. It is this pumpkin Alfredo pasta. And these little pasta shells, I actually found at Trader Joe's a couple of weeks ago. And I've basically been waiting to make them. They are these fall zucchetti, zucchetti pasta. So they're butternut squash pasta, which is good. It's a little bit more healthy. But um, this is going to be like butter and heavy cream, so it's not going to be a healthy <laughs> recipe at all. So just keeping that in mind, this is the cheat thing for the week along with everything else this weekend. But I usually am like mm, indulgent on the weekends. And then during the week, I try to be a little bit better and just eating salads and smoothies and salads and smoothies. But I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I feel like in December... There's almost just more holiday parties and just situations where you're being more indulgent with the eating. That's why I feel like I kind of in December, I'm like, I just enjoy the fun holiday season. And then in January, I try to like get down to business and be better. But I am going to just get to making this recipe. I'm going to turn my tree on. I'm gonna get some Christmas music going and start cooking. Yeah, it was like cheesy and carby and heavy, but delicious nonetheless. So yeah, I'm basically from here just going to clean up, do some dishes, do my skincare, start editing this video, and go to bed because tomorrow is Monday and I have work tomorrow. 
I'm going to try, hopefully, to vlog. I'm going to see if I can, you know, make it work. We're going to try to do this Vlogmas thing. <laughs> and, yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. But definitely don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And check out the Fashion Squirrel as well over on Instagram. And <laughs> hopefully I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.